Eastern Chad is desert, dust, and desolation, and home to 300,000 refugees in 13 camps. Most have fled the hell of Darfur. Halima, her daughter, and a friend are picking Muket in 45 degree heat. They have little choice. Their refugee rations have been cut by more than half. Across a continent, in nine African countries, almost 800,000 refugees have had their food rations cut by at least 50% for 450,000 in camps in Chad, Central African Republic, and South Sudan. Between 5 and 49% for 338,000 refugees in Liberia, Burkina Faso, Mozambique, Ghana, Mauritania, and Uganda. Taken together, that's one-third of all African refugees who receive food assistance. They are getting less, much less to eat. The food road is rough enough, often just tracks in the desert for the delivery trucks. But now, with the $186 million shortfall in World Food Program funding, some warehouses are bare, like this one in Chad. The food itself is lacking. Many refugees fleeing Central African Republic have walked for weeks or months and arrive in Cameroon or Chad severely malnourished. Children suffer cruelly. Any delay in food or extra nutrition support can be catastrophic. People are women and children, and many of the children are malnourished. Basically, we need more funds to be able to cope with this emergency. Even before the cut, only one camp of 92 surveyed in Africa had fewer than 20% of refugee children suffering from anemia. Just one of 92. The most vulnerable don't always survive. The pincers of the food crisis force refugees to resort to negative coping strategies. Children drop out of school. They must work to help feed their families. Young girls are married early to find economic support. Others without men to protect them are sexually attacked. In the desolate camp in Chad, Halima and her family tried to grow food. So they pound the mouquette they have picked to make a paste they can cook. It's hard work, but necessary. Without the fruit of the desert plant, they would be dangerously undernourished. For the moment, WFP distributes the food it can, and when possible, food vouchers. But without another $186 million, there may be more food rationing. At stake are the futures of more than a million refugees in Africa.